Hello, good morning. Welcome to Business with me, Imano Abwaji Biafe. The recent challenges with crude production on the Jubilee Field FPSO, as well as the recent power crisis, slowed economic growth down for the second quarter of this year. This was revealed after the Ghana Statistical Service announced the quarter two GDP estimates slowed down to 2.5%. George Biafe has more. According to the Ghana Statistical Service, these were the reasons for the slowdown in economic growth for the second quarter of this year. Results in GDP growth hit 2.5% from 3.5% in the same period in 2015. The services sector led the pack with the highest growth of 6%, followed by a Greek with 4.1% whilst industry went down by 5%. The services sector's growth was influenced by significant activities in hotel and restaurant and information and communication. Now let's look at the value of the economy in monetary terms. Well, according to the school service, the Ghanaian economy in monetary terms as of December last year was worth 138 billion Ghana cities. Now what this amount is shared among the total population Everyone should get little over 5,000 Ghana cities. Deputy Minister of Finance Monakoti says government has started reaping the benefits of the single spine window system. A year after its implementation, she said port revenue has started picking up. Minister Mona, Deputy Minister Monakoti revealed this at the inauguration of Ghana Revenue Authority's electronic payment zone, also known as the E-Zone in Accra. The single window system was introduced in September last year to serve as a common platform for stakeholders to process documents and facilitate trade by reducing cost and time spent in import and export trade. The electronic payment zone forms part of the Ghana single window project. The payment zone is expected to facilitate payment of port charges and other services by exporters to the authority as Deputy Minister of Finance Munakwati explains. The important thing about the E-Zone is that it gives integrated information so that in, at any point in time, any businessman who is doing business here knows where their goods are, knows what they must do, whether it's a certain document that they need to hand in or to process, but they know for me, the important thing is that there's clarity on the process and on the system for doing international business. In terms of revenue, um, we started last year after a, a very major desk study and a case study and what, how do we call them, country visits yeah, country. to Nigeria. We had also, of course, heard what had happened in Cote d'Ivoire. But Nigeria is the largest market and that's where if you really want to study for West Africa, you go to. And we went there and West Blue had done the same for them in terms of starting their single window. And um, they told us what to expect. And true to form what they told us to expect happened. They said initially you will see a drop in your revenues because people are getting used to the new system. They've always been used to the fragmented one, but then the uh, revenues would pick up, and I'm glad to say that revenues have started to pick up. The E-Zone structures are located at the Tema Port, Kotoka International Airport, and the Customs Technical Services Bureau. Addressing the ceremony earlier, Commissioner General of the GRA, George Blankson, said there are plans to expand the facility to other parts of the country. This is the new area that we are now focusing with the establishment of the, of the E-Zones. And it gladdens my heart that we are not limiting it to the key areas of KIA, which is Kotoka International Airport, and Tema. We are going on to Takrade, Aflao, Elubo, and ultimately it will become part of every customs outpost, every customs unit, just like we have it at the domestic front. The electronic payment zone was implemented in consultation with IT consulting and technology firm West Blue Consulting. And that's all in business for now. Do make a date again at midday for more business news. My name is Emmanuel Bajiriafi. Good morning.